Okay, please could you address the issue of concentration in Salah for people with ADHD? Now, uh, ADHD, which is uh, like an attention deficit uh, disorder, I mean, like, of, you know, of some sort, and there's obviously many, there's many different types, okay? And frankly, I'm gonna, con I'm no expert on this area, okay? I have spoken and dealt with some people who have this kind of issue. I think the advice really depends on the specific kind of situation. All I would say is, I can only answer in a general way right now, but based on the experience that I've had in interacting with families or individuals who have this concern for themselves or for loved ones, for example, and based on what I've seen and know, like it, it's just a question of doing your best and knowing that you've, you know, feeling that you're doing your best and just, and, and, and being very mindful that Allah is merciful, he's kind and he, he knows your intention. And as long as you're making the best effort that you can make. So some people in this situation may find it particularly if there is genuinely something there, which is uh, like, which is affecting them across different spheres in their, you know, different spheres in their life. It's not just a Salah issue, let's say, but it's generally in life as far as different activities and other things are concerned. There's some form of ADHD or some form of autism, et cetera, et cetera. And then that's affecting the way that, that, that they're able to engage or manage within the Salah. Like you just do your best. And, and that's really, that's as simple as that, really. And if you've got loved ones you're trying to support with this, you just do your best in helping them, but you don't be too hard on them. You just, you know, you support them in the context of what of the, of the issue that they have. And they are accountable relative to the struggles and the particular conditions that they face and they experience. Okay. We have a merciful Lord, a generous Lord, and one who, uh, who, who understands and is not looking to catch us out. Allah is not looking to catch us out, basically. Right. He's not looking to find the first excuse to punish us. Yeah. Allah says, why would Allah, what has Allah got to do with your punishment? Why would Allah punish you or consider your punishment if you are grateful and if you, uh, if you believe, if you have faith? Allah himself is appreciative and all-knowing. So he appreciates the efforts of his believing uh, servants and whatever their struggle is, whether it be a health related, whether it be whatever it is related to, as long as they do their best and they feel and they're trying their best and they're striving, that's all that's required and, and is expected of us. So we try our best and, we, and that might make it harder for us to concentrate in the same way or to be consistent in quite the same way, whatever. We just absolutely just do your best. That's it. You know, and, and that's all, as much as I think can be said.